Hey guys, in today's video here on FTP, we are going to open this off brand Chinese ripoff Famicom. <laughs> That's a, that is a mouthful, I know. So, hope you guys like the new setup. Uh, this is this is straight from Japan, but it's also a Chinese ripoff again of a Nintendo Famicom computer uh, I've took this apart and looked at it before but I wanted to actually make a video on it it's been a while since I've done it I haven't opened it up since this is ex this is a uh, th this is straight up a ripoff is pretty much what it is it's called game cassette computer so this is retro stuff if you're into that be sure to like share and subscribe but uh, we're just going to open it here and let you guys see what's inside it first. Let's take a look at the back. Okay. And of course, it's got your TV, you know, your white and red RCA cables here. It comes with two controllers, a power adapter, and it plays Famicom games. If you don't know what the Famicom is, that is the Japanese version of the Nintendo controller or in Nintendo controller the regular Nintendo in America so the gray box toaster that we got it's really called a family computer uh, in Japan but here we have a ripoff called the next now this thing does work the last time I tried it we're not going to play anything on it, which we could, I guess. Might hook it up and do that and uh, let you guys see the quality of it. But it's it's not really that impressive. It's I mean it's <laughs> it is straight up just a rip off of a actual Famicom computer. So here's the box here. Let's flip it around. <laughs> Look at this system. Now I will do a review on some actually cool. This is not very cool. This is cheap, cheap, cheapo. Cheap. I mean, it feels cheap. It sounds cheap. The power button. I'm pushing the power button there. That's the reset button. <laughs> uh, you see it has two front controller ports. If you know the original Famicom, you actually couldn't detach the controller. So that's actually a plus that you can plug in controllers here if you wanted to let's go ahead and take everything out right here on the table for review here all right so we got our rca cables everybody well probably not now since hdmi took over but back in the day you used to have rca cables usually is red white and yellow of course this one only does mono mono stands for single so it only has one audio channel and one video channel which is pretty standard and old stuff of course you have this AC adapter it's just strange it, it, I, I guess this was this works in America so I guess maybe they was targeting America I don't know well, Japan and America have the same power so it could could be why it actually works here and this this thing is just <laughs> it was interesting so this is you have to pop this up look how it's kind of interesting anyway let me grab a Famicom game all right so we now we have our family computer game straight there's an original jail code game called formation Z so you would put the Famicom game in this it doesn't feel great at all doing this. This is. <laughs> That's what it would look like inside this thing. I mean, I'm sure this was cheaper than an actual family computer back in the day if that's when this was made. Uh, I, oh, I forgot how bad the controllers feel. The controllers on this feel terrible. Like, look how far the buttons are protruding out of the controller and they're shaped like PlayStation so this is probably a newer product at least 
probably in the PlayStation era because normally <laughs> look when you move the left d-pad the, the top one moves too same with the bottom and right that is terrible this this controller has to be one of the cheapest and worst controllers I've ever seen it 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 don't it doesn't even feel like anything's in it it's extremely bad this is one of the worst controllers I would not want to play with this forever the, the, the buttons feel terrible like it's not really the shape it's too small for sure I don't even have that big of hands it's like I don't know it's not very big at all like it is an extremely small controller it feels like something you would give a kid uh, if you just wanted them to I, I, I don't know like a fake controller or something it feels worse than that actually like something you would get from Walmart oh boy this is just this is bad this is a bad bad controller but everything does work uh, it's just <laughs> this is cheap Chinese junk it is I mean this is awful this is this is not even good rip off stuff this is bad rip off stuff this is the worst of the worst this is one of the worst things I've ever seen oh yeah that's not coming out easy either <laughs> what in the world all right oh if you don't want your game back and you want to get stuck in the game cassette computer next there you have it what a what a terrible terrible device we need to take this apart and look inside of it don't we hold on I'll do that all right now guys we're gonna to try to take this thing apart and see what's inside of it it's just uses a we're just using a regular Phillips screwdriver here this thing doesn't look like it has anything in it. it is so light this has to be like a little chip inside this is one of the smallest this this is <laughs> this, this is interesting I, have, I don't know why I've never tried to take this apart before but I'm glad to do it here on uh, on screen on, on recording here all right so everything is took out it's like look at those buttons those are that's nothing there's there's nothing to this Wow I'm kind of impressed that this this actually just works that's a small chip where is it at it has to be on the side maybe I'm kind of impressed that this works at all like this is nothing it don't even it don't even look like it has anything in it I'm curious how this works it has like two resistors two resistors no there's three three here there's three resistors right here some small caps or here's some caps or here's the video board it's nothing it has like one or two uh, transistors well, it has two transistors right here I don't, I don't know how this thing works. It has a lot of traces here, but that's for the reading of this. To read the game, then what's it do with it? Where's the micro, where's the processor at? Is it on the back here? I, there has to be something that's... I don't know. That's... That's the funkiest thing I've ever seen. I don't know how this is working. You have your controller board. It's nothing. It's feeding into right here. Two things are feeding here. It's just nothing. It's nothing here. This is the strangest thing ever. Well, there you guys have it. Here is the computer cassette 
Family next. I, it is nothing. The cheapest thing I've ever seen. I don't know how this thing works. That's the cheapest little push down button ever too. I mean, it feels okay. It feels. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like stuff like this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll be glad to get more junk and open it up and talk about it. Anyways, here's the family computer next. Or game cassette next. Anyway, I don't know. Be sure to check out fulltechpodcast.com. My name's Smango. Follow me on Twitter at the Smango. We'll see you guys next time.